So this has a chair structure. And they're showing this. The reaction is OH minus and DMSO. And the question says, draw the major E2 reaction product formed when cis 1 chloro 2 ethyl cyclohexane shown below reacts with hydroxide ion DMSO. So one person might have thought, if the, I mean, literally the direction to tell you it's an E2. Right, so you might have thought this could have been an SN2, right? We weren't careful, right? If we just look at this, right? What kind of alkyl halide do we have? Primary, secondary, tertiary alkyl halide. Secondary. Gotta get better at that. Yeah. Gotta get, we got, I just find the number of hydrogen. All you gotta do is, there's one hydrogen, it's secondary. If there's no hydrogens, it's tertiary. If there's two, it's primary. So it's secondary, so it still could be, S, it could be anything, right? E1, E2, SN1, SN2. So what's the next thing we look at? We look at the reactivity of the nucleophile, or the base. Does it have a charge, basically we're asking. Does it have a charge? Yeah. Yes, so it's reactive. So that eliminates E1 and SN1. Now we look at the size. And usually this is a pretty small one. So we might be worried about SN2 here, but the instructions literally say, right? So make sure you read instructions. Instructions say, draw the E2. They tell you this is an E2 reaction. Good. So now it's an E2. So we know it's E2, because the instructions told us that, or we could have eliminated it and got there, but we have a chair. And what did I tell, what did I tell you all about chair, chairs and leaving groups? What position do they have to be in? They have to be axial. Right now, this chloride is equatorial. So you need to be able to do a ring flip. Got to be able to do a ring flip still. So. All right, so if I number these carbons... If I pull down on carbon one, pull up there, everything else rotates around. Now, if E2, we got in the right conformation, just like you rotate to make things anti periplanar Got in the right conformation. Now you look for beta hydrogens <clears throat> from the carbon 2, in this case, the carbon with the chlorine on it, with the leaving group on it. Beta hydrogens, and the hydrogens have to be what position also? They have to also be axial and in the opposite face. So if this chlorine is axial and up, you're looking for beta hydrogens. Hydrogens that are one, two bonds away, one, two bonds away, they're also axial but down. So it's either this hydrogen or this hydrogen. So if I label them A or B, which one is the most likely one here, A or B? B, Zaitsev's product, right? Zaitsev's rule. This is not a very, this is only a secondary alkyl halide. This is not a very big base. If I take B, it'll lead to a more substituted alkene. E2 mechanism. Dove on there. No wedges and hatches ever with pi bonds. You've never seen me draw a wedge and a hatch with a pi bond. Don't do it. So there's a product that also could look like this. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just to re reiterate, it has to be anti periplanar, right? See how they're 180 degrees apart? So that. One's axial up, one's axial down. 